Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that Microsoft had confirmed that the Edge settings are getting a major makeover with WebUI 2. And this is all currently being tested in the Canary and the dev versions of Microsoft Edge, which are both early preview versions. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Edge settings is migrating to WebUI 2 to boost page responsiveness. And it's also introducing a series of minor visual and content upgrades to improve overall usability and utility. Go check the video out for more info. Now, I did touch very briefly on WebUI 2 that can boost page responsiveness. And it's quite an important part of the actual update. So I thought I'd just focus a little bit more on that for the purpose of today's video. Now, WebUI 2 is going to bring, according to Microsoft, quite a significant performance boost to the browser. And it's going to be used to power the pages, the visual elements, which means the settings will load faster with less delays or lags. Now, basically, the idea of this Edge settings makeover is to make it more like Chrome. So that's one of the reasons, because Microsoft wants you to get familiar with the impl implementation when you switch, because Microsoft obviously is trying to get as many users over to Edge from Google Chrome, as we have been talking about in the series we talk about called the Browser Wars on this channel. Now, getting back to WebUI 2, in case you're unaware, the current user interface code in Microsoft Edge has large files and they're loaded every time you launch the browser, even though the feature doesn't actually need the code. And over and above that, much of Edge's UI is rendered using JavaScript, okay? Which means there's extra downloading, passing and compiling, and that's why it can feel a bit sluggish and slow. Now, this could be a problem on obviously devices with limited RAM or without an SSD running an old conventional um, HDD as an example. Now, the thing with WebUI 2 is that Edge doesn't rely then on JavaScript and can render as much as possible without needing JavaScript, thereby making things a lot more snappier and quicker compared to how they are currently in the stable version. And just a quick recap, if we head to these settings in the stable version, we can see things still looking the old way and hasn't got the makeover yet. So I'm keeping my ear to the ground um, with this settings makeover. And Microsoft is giving this quite a lot of um, attention. And as mentioned, it's already making its way from Canary into Dev. So I think there's a very good chance that this will be made available in the stable version. And something else is that some of the other browser elements, like your extensions menu, just to mention one example, also rely on WebUI 2 now, which gives them a bit more of a responsiveness and so on, which I have posted on previously. So um, I think this is going to be a big one to look out for if you are using the Edge browser. But as I get the info, I'll try and keep you posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.